Hello. Hope you guys are having a fabulous, thriving Thursday. Would love to hear what some of you guys are up to, what you're doing. Lots of fun activities, I hope. Hope you're also planning some great stuff for Thanksgiving. It's just right around the corner. <clears throat> Can't believe one week away. And that means we have four weeks of Advent and Christmas is right around that corner. It's hard to believe that 2017 is just almost complete. So I hope you guys have lots of great things you've been thinking about for the new year, goals, ways to thrive, things like that. <clears throat> this is gonna be our last um, uh, very regular Thriving Thursday. Um, so I hope you guys really enjoy it. Next week, some things are gonna be a little bit different, especially with Thursday being you know, Thanksgiving. Um, and I'm gonna do some things a little bit differently during Advent um, to reflect and to see how we're going to, or how I'm gonna you know, go into 2018 in supporting you guys and sharing. Um, definitely we'll still continue to do weekly uh, Facebook Lives, but not quite sure if it's gonna shift from Thursday or not. Um, I'm definitely taking a hiatus at the moment from my blog at www.kellyfrickconnect.com. Um, there's still going to be postings every Monday, um, but I have it scheduled out to kind of reflect on some old postings and stuff like that. So still check that out. Um, would love to be able to have you guys go and subscribe, uh, subscribe to my my blog, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Lots of great content that I love sharing with you guys and being able to help us all connect and to thrive, right? So... <clears throat> Today, I wanted to be able to get personal. Um, my blog is all about me and being personal with you guys. The, the irony is whenever I do um, consults, whenever I do one-on-one -on -one appointments uh, with clients and customers, um, it's all about you. <laughs> I make sure that it's about you, it's not about me. But sometimes, I know that sometimes we like to be able to know the person um, who is sharing with us and being able to learn from and stuff. And what is it? Why am I so passionate about all of, of this health stuff, this health journey? Um, so I'm going to share with you a little bit about more about me. If you don't already know, if you haven't been following, if you're brand new to following my Facebook page or my blog, um, <clears throat> a little bit about me. So, um, there's so much about me, but my shortest part of my story, the most current part of my story is that three years ago, um, I had a thyroid storm um, and I didn't understand it. I ironically already was on a very nutritional uh, journey of whole food, real food, uh, predominantly plant-based uh, with some animal protein and stuff in it, but getting real, getting back to basics with food. Get, uh, cutting out uh, gluten, sugar, dairy, cutting out um, processed stuff, just junk, pro you know, cutting all that out. That took place actually about, oh, almost seven years ago, right at seven years ago, actually. And my health had improved significantly. It was amazing. So I was nutritionally sound, okay, so to speak. I was right on target as far as being nutritional and, and, and supporting my body in a very healthy, nutritional way. Um, but I'm having this thyroid storm that I'm not quite sure what's going on. I'm fatigued, I have hair losing, um, I'm, I'm losing hair, I have dry skin, I have achy bones, I was um, going up and down with my weight. I mean, significant um, extremes where People actually were asking me if I was having an eating disorder or if I was using drugs or, I mean, just kind of crazy, wacky things, asking me, telling me to eat, you know, things like that. Um, <clears throat> because I had dropped so much weight and we didn't know why. Um, so it, it was just, it was kind of crazy, kind of wonky, but I had no energy on top of it all. Um, so I happened to, ironically, at the time, be doing a lot of studying um, to be able to help um, others learn things about nutrition, and I was feeling drawn to learn a little bit more about different autoimmune conditions. And that particular time, I was learning a little bit about Hashimoto's. I was also learning more about adrenal fatigue stuff um, simultaneously at it. So 
Um, I was getting tests done. I know many of you probably know this, know a story of, of similarness of you're going to the doctors and you're having tests ran and they're telling you that everything is normal, everything is fine. And you know everything is not normal. You know everything is not fine, fine because you don't feel fine. You don't feel normal. Um, but they're telling you you are. And so you're, you're having doubts. You're thinking it's in your head, but you know it's not in your head. And they're making all sorts of other suggestions. So I went to a trusted dear friend um, who's also a nutritional coach. And I was like, I need to meet with you as a client, not as just a friend. Um, I need to be able to, you know, basically share with you what I think could possibly be going on and um, get to the root of what's going on. So she directed me to a wonderful doctor and uh, which led me to other doctors and, and just the whole entire story. But basically my nutrition was good and I was already using oils. I was a huge advocate of using oils in multiple different ways. But I didn't understand how they could also help support me emotionally because after my thyroid storm and getting diagnosed with Hashimoto's, um, I was able to really dig deep in finding out if my nutrition is spot on, what else is going on? So I had to start really learning um, even more nutritional uh, support of that you know, there's some other tweaks that I needed to do, but then what are the emotions behind it? What is the stressors behind it? What are my genetics behind it? Um, <clears throat> and that's where essential oils and supplementation just really became a key factor for me. My nutrition became a key factor even more so, but connecting with and learning about my emotions um, and learning about uh, my my traumas of my past, learning about um, just so many different things, how it all interweaved. Um, so the first couple of years was a lot of ups and downs. Um, and those of you who, who have experienced thyroid conditions, um, whether it's just ups and downs with thyroid, hyper, hypo, um, or with Hashimoto's itself, you understand that it's a continual balance. You know, our thyroid is this beautiful butterfly that is trying to tell us something, um, especially when things are off mark and it, it's wanting us to be able to thrive. Um, but if we're not listening to it, it, we can have this up and down going on. <clears throat> so um, I started to, on this path on this journey, learn even more about essential oils. And I started to learn how they could support me, not only physically, but emotionally um, and spiritually and the more I dug into it and the more I did my healing journey and all the other pieces I was able to connect the oils with all of those pieces as well and I was hooked I mean I was bona fide hooked um, so now fast forward this last year I've been able to establish a regimen that isn't a dogmatic regimen but a ebb and flow of being true to me because that's the thing we all have different roots behind our thyroid conditions or our thyroid issues or our um, autoimmune conditions um, but especially when you're dealing with Hashimoto's um, Hashimoto's doesn't look the same way for every single person one person may actually be able to be okay with dairy um, and another person, absolutely totally not. Some have really severe uh, symptoms and it's just this constant up and down and others don't. You know, why? Why do we all have different symptoms? Why do we all have different um, experiences with it? And it's because we're all uniquely different and we need to respect that. And what I've been able to find, whether it's with me or any of my customers and clients um, and, and others that I've learned through, that we all have a basis, a, a basic that can help us and support us. And that that becomes part of the beginning of our ebb and flow of learning what works best for us. So I've been able to, over this last year, um, all of 2017 be able to really establish a regimen 
through my nutrition, through essential oils, through, through self-care, through several th different things to make sure that I'm thriving with my Hashimoto's, that I am able to love life, that I am able to get up in the morning and um, not feel like, oh, I just wanna bring the covers back over my head. Um, do I still have some of those days? Yeah, but they're far and few in between. Very, very few because I have learned how to truly nurture and nourish my body and my mind and my soul to be able to really thrive with my thyroid and to not let my Hashimoto's define me or to not let it control me but for me to take it to God always and to be able to really support myself um, through his direction through nutritional essential oils uh, supplementation and all of that and I've been able to do this with no medication this whole entire year I have done this with no medication um, and I'm really proud of that I'm really because I know that that's how our bodies were designed now it's not to say that some people they need it um, and and I respect that and I think we all need to respect what each of us again are individual and are different and we each have different things and different needs you know I need to support my adrenals because my adrenals are my weak link with my thyroid I need to respect and and um, nurture different other things with hormones and stuff with my body because it's part of my disconnect with my thyroid but by me being aware of what my body does need I'm also then aware of how I can thrive and that's where I would love to be able to help out each and every one of you you know whenever I hear about somebody who struggles with thyroid I think oh if I can just walk with you and and journey with you um, you know there's that whole saying of you know we can fish for somebody and feed them for a day or we can teach a person to fish right and they can then feed themselves for a lifetime and that's what i strive to do that's part of what i do here on this page and on my um uh, my blog is to be able to continue to nurture and nourish you know great content and information and coaching and support so that you too can thrive whether it's dealing with thyroid whether it's dealing with anything you know life itself in general right so I want you guys to just really think about that today think about that this as we go into this week into Thanksgiving um, how you need to to nurture yourself and nourish yourself to be able to thrive and if you just find this really compelling and um, would like to learn more on what I do, what my protocol is, please reach out, connect with me. I would love to be able to share with you what I do um, so that I am not losing hair um, and I have great skin color and tone again and I have very few aches and pains anymore and when I do I know exactly what the trigger was that caused it um, and, and just being able to thrive and smile and feel alive you know that's what we're here to do right so I hope you take a moment to really just sit and pray and journal and think about what what is it that you need to do to thrive what are, are you thriving do you feel like you're thriving and if not how how can you thrive what will help you thrive and how can I help you reach those goals of thriving? All right, you guys have a beautiful and blessed week and I have some really exciting things that I'm holding on to to share with you guys. Hopefully I'll get to share with you Saturday, um, at the very least Monday. I'll be hopping on. I'm not quite sure when, what time, all that stuff, but stay tuned um, because I know this upcoming week is just going to be a beautiful and blessed week and exciting for all of us, especially with Thanksgiving coming up and the holidays. Um, let's close out 2017 with amazing strides of thriving. All right, you guys have a beautiful, blessed rest of your day, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.